So Scorpio hasn't even been released yet, but we may already be seeing signs that the Xbox is gonna hold it back. And the same thing could be said for the PS4 Pro and it being held back by the PS4. Earlier today, Activision released a gameplay trailer for Destiny 2, uh, which by the way looks a lot better than the first one, at least when it comes to the storyline, because this one actually seems like it has a decent storyline to it. Uh, we also learned that the game is coming to PC this go around, offering up everything that you would expect to see in a PC game up to 4k resolution unlocked frames per second field of view slider custom mapping and of course no paywall or extra fees in order to play online multiplayer uh, the one thing that some people were shocked to hear as far as the PC version is concerned is that it's gonna run on battle.net which is Blizzard's PC client and it's not going to be available on Steam, at least at first. Uh, apparently, a lot of people don't realize that Activision and Blizzard, even though their names are both on the, the logo, uh, they're sister companies. So the idea that Activision wants to take advantage of one of the biggest new series, keep all the money in-house, isn't exactly earth-shattering, in my opinion. But for me, the biggest disappointment came from the news that on consoles, Destiny 2 is going to run at 30 frames per second. In an interview with PC Gamer, they asked directly, is this a locked 30 on consoles? And the devs said yes. Uh, they went on to talk about then how great 60 frames per second is gonna be on the PC. Here's a direct quote from the dev. I wanna be totally clear, the game plays fantastically at 30, it always has, but at 60, there's just something a little different about that. Uh, yeah, at 60, it's a hell of a lot more smoother. So if there's something special about 60, why isn't the consoles running at 60? It, it, to me, it's terrible. Uh, so if this is true, it means it's locked on consoles across the board at 30 frames per second. And it's something that I've talked about before. What is the point in having a powerful system if you're going to be stuck playing at 30 frames per second? And it's a shooter, no less. Now, I will add this disclaimer. They did say that they can't talk about Scorpio until Microsoft reveals it at E3, but there's nothing stopping them from talking about the Pro, and they didn't mention it being able to receive any sort of frame rate boost either. And before people start in with the whole, oh, it would be unfair for some consoles to run at a higher frames per second, you know, ask yourself this, is it unfair to have people running at a much higher resolution and being able to see enemies better than others? Is it unfair to have elite controllers with extra buttons for mapping and hair triggers? Uh, they couldn't come up with a matchmaking system where some people could opt into this if they wanted to? Is it unfair to have paid for a premium product only for it to be held back by a weaker product? If you ask me, no. And, and where is this going to end? If there has to be parity across games and all future games are meant to be played on current systems, are console players stuck forever with terrible frame rates? If Scorpio is going to be successful, then they need to let it break free from the weaker Xbox and devs need to be able to use the power to deliver advanced content in every category. So if this is the future that we're looking at with consoles, where premium consoles are held back because of lower tier ones, to me that just doesn't sound like the best investment. And if this does hold true, that is a huge disappointment. We got a few more weeks to find out the truth, and so we will be keeping an eye on it. That does it for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah.